Hey, Ty here. So I don't know if you ever watched Minority Report with Tom Cruise, I like moving all the stuff around. And well, we're starting to get pretty close to it. That thanks to a new update with virtual desktop, it's gonna allow you to use your hands directly to interact with your PC. And that's really, really interesting and amazing. But is this also the way to unlock and tracking on PC VR as well? Well, let's discover it together. Let's get into it. Now, it's not the first time that we talk about Virtual Desktop, by the way. It's an app that allows you to use your PC directly with your Oculus Quest or any other PC VR headset on the market. Now, what's the difference with the Oculus Quest is that you can connect wireless, of course, and use your desktop like if you were using directly your PC over there. Also, we already talked about it in the past because it's one of the best way to use the Oculus Quest to play PC VR games or Oculus games. And that's pretty awesome. Yes, there's still a little latency, but it works very, very well. Now, the version with all the enhancements doesn't really come from the Oculus Store. I mean, it does. You have to download it there and then use a side quest, you can download the updates with all the different experimental stuff that are not really allowed um, through the Oculus stores, like the streaming of your Steam VR apps and the new update for the end tracking, because you're gonna be able to start to use your ends directly to interact with your desktop or also in your VR apps. So to install it, like always, we have to connect our Quest to the PC and install it through SideQuest. I made a guide on the video over here, so if you don't know how to use SideQuest, well, the guide over there is still working very, very well. So let's jump right in and let's discover it together. All right, here we are in our virtual desktop environment. It is pretty cool because I can already see my ends, as you can see as well. And uh, it would be super nice to use this keyboard, by the way, but we can't do it yet. Uh, let's start connecting with our PC. So uh, with the left pinch, like towards you, you can open uh, the menu, of course, and click on your computer so you can connect directly. As you can see, that uh, happened very, very fast. Now, just to see very, very, briefly uh, the menu this is the menu that we're gonna have that explains how to use your hands over here to emulate a gamepad or stuff like that and uh, most of all what you need to know is that the index pinch is gonna have the left click and the mid middle pinch is gonna be the right click so uh, let's go back like this if we do it with the right uh, we have the oculus uh, uh, home environment as we saw in the past and uh, let's see if it works so well you can uh, do the left click like this we saw or with the other end without any problem so if we want to select something open like a, a little video like this uh, this is gonna be a little preview because I'm working on the video uh, now of course it's in 10 bits so it doesn't work that well uh, but uh, you can see the video like that it's pretty pretty cool because as you can see you can interact with everything now a very nice thing over here is the ability to do a multi-touch so just a zoom in if we want in the uh, page and then move it around as uh, it was a touch screen unfortunately though we can't really touch uh, on the things because there's no uh, possibility from here, but it's just for pinching. Uh, guy himself said that he tried, but it didn't really work that well. Uh, also because not having, oops, sorry, not having the right distance, not maybe understanding the right distance, not having any feedback uh, doesn't really work that well. And so he went for something more familiar like we are used to with the Oculus environment, using the same interaction with the uh, touch controllers or with the, the end tracking that we are used to uh, with the Oculus Quest. So, well, these are pretty much the bases. It's very, very easy. Uh, you can browse around on your PC and everything just using your hands. Of course, now I'm using this environment over here, but uh, the nice thing is like, if you wanna watch a movie, uh, for example, you can go to your auditorium uh, where it's much bigger and keep interacting uh, with your uh, PC. Over there, open maybe uh, a video. Uh, let's open the same one that we were watching just a second ago. And uh, well, watch your movie with uh, putting your hands there and uh, just relaxing uh, without any problem. That's pretty cool indeed. Oh, the guy 
that looks very familiar. But now we said that Android you know, emulates a little what are the controllers, the Oculus Touch controllers. And so that means that we will be able to use it also with some Steam VR applications. So uh, having the update for this, we can just uh, go over here and look for Half-Life Alyx, where are you? And see if we can actually interact with the game. Because now it's gonna open for sure Steam VR. And here we are. And what we're gonna see are two Oculus controllers, even if we are not really holding them. But as you can see, if I close the grip, I'm having the grip button. And uh, oh, that feels a little weird though, uh, I gotta say. And uh, <laughs> this is so funny. So yeah, we have two controllers in our hands, even if we don't have the controllers in our hands. Uh, we are in the game, so now we have our hands back, even if are not our real hands, as you can see. Uh, we can go on continue, accept, because the pinch is the trigger. Oh, actually, you can do just like this and you can start to play in this way. But yeah, here we are. As you can see, we have our hands. Uh, of course, we don't have any way to move around, but hopefully I can grab something with the gravity gloves and let's try. Come on. Nope. How does it work? Come on. Maybe with the trigger. No, come on. Well, I, I, let's say that I don't really feel like a Jedi right now, uh, but as you can see, we can already see at least our ends in the game. And it's pretty tricky to have now the ends of like Alex on you like for real without controllers. Now this is completely unusable by the way because we have no locomotion options and stuff like that. So you can't really move and it's not really made for it, but we have the trigger like this and the grip button like this. And pretty much that's it, as you can see. Uh, it's a pretty awesome interaction though. Let me see if I can grab the, come on, <laughs> I lost my head. All right, oh no. No, I lost it, but <laughs> it's a pretty cool feature to have, but for sure it's not really that usable that like it sounds right now. Uh, it's something that we have, so maybe if you have an easy experience, uh, you can use it like this, but there's a lot of latency using and tracking because you have little latency from the cameras and then little latency from the streaming because let's remember that I'm connected wireless to my PC right now back there, but <laughs> that's pretty awesome indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put that. And here we have it, guys. I think this update is really, really awesome and really gives us a glimpse of the future uh, for VR interaction also with our desktop. Uh, I really would like to see, by the way, like the touch feature, but not touching anything is actually very hard to understand where to put your finger. It's not that precise and cool as it might sound. So for now, we have just to use our fingers and do like a pinching over there for left click and right click as we saw in the video. About gaming well we saw together that is not really a way to play a game, uh, it's really just the beginning of this stuff and it's not recommended for gaming anyway but more for interaction. The fact that these in tracking now emulates just the grip button and the trigger button helps to use it in some certain apps maybe where you don't have to move and stuff but probably it wouldn't be a real a viable way for gaming for that the controllers are still better because they give you active feedback and you have much more stuff to do around. An alternative will be to use gloves that gives you like a feedback when you touch something and stuff like that. But for that, well, there's another video uh, coming soon on the channel. So stay tuned for that. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think about it in the comment below. Do you like this minority report style interaction with your desktop? I really do. And I think that is awesome if you want just to watch a movie and stuff like that. Uh, you don't have to grab your uh, controllers every time, but everything is like on the tip of your hands. And that's a, uh, well, effect. So let me know what you think about it in the comment below. As always, guys, if you liked the video, like. If you didn't like the video, like. Subscribe to the channel for more about VR tech. And if you love the channel, you can help also down there with the join button with a little donation each month. You're gonna help a lot here growing like these super cool people over here. Or if you want some t-shirts, well, we have some t-shirts in the store down there. You should check them out for sure with the back to VR t-shirt or the sticker and stuff like that. So. As always, again, like, dislike, subscribe. See you guys next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.